The previous two years saw Honda win two drivers and one constructors championship, and to think that the team will withdraw from the sport in 2026 after having such a strong season in 2023 is ridiculous. It seems that the team itself understood that this didn't make any sense for them. But now that Red Bull is going with their own powertrains, who could be a potential partner for Honda? A surprising team has emerged after a strong leap in performance in 2023, and we may see a very unlikely scenario unfolding down. Honda partnering with Aston Martin in 2026. Join us as we go through the possibility of Aston Martin turning its back on Mercedes and whether or not Honda will be down to remain in the sport beyond 2026. Honda's tenure in the modern F1 era hasn't been as good as it was in the previous couple of years. If you recall correctly, they had one of the worst periods from 2015 to 2017 with McLaren, when the walking-based squad was dead last with a duo of Alonso and Van Dorn, and every other race was a DNF for them. This resulted in McLaren opting for the Mercedes engine, and Honda found a very strong ally in Red Bull, with this decision officially kicking Ricardo out of the team. Before we continue with Honda's voyage in Formula 1, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification posts. A couple of years later, Honda was able to build an engine that was competitive enough to challenge the W12 of Hamilton. So, with the season going down the line at the last race, Honda has emerged as a best engine in the Drivers' Championship for the first time after a long-awaited pause. 2022 went as it did, while 2023 is definitely going the way of Honda. They have decided that they no longer want to be in the sport beyond 2026 due to them not feeling related to it anymore. But does this make sense to you? Yeah, neither does it for me. How would you leave a sport in which you have a chance to win four consecutive Constructors' Championships and five consecutive Drivers' Championships until 2026 and then decide that this is not it? While the Red Bull ship is long gone, as the Austrian company will supply itself and Alfa Tauri, if the Italian squad still exists at this point with the Red Bull powertrains, Honda has some interesting options ahead of itself, one of which seems to be more intriguing than all of the others. Aston Martin is definitely the team that has raised the most eyebrows among the F1 world. And how wouldn't it? From P12 in the 2022 season, and a team that struggled to keep up with the midfield, being mocked by copying Red Bull's side pods in Barcelona, to a team that is now able to fight for their P2 spot in the 2023 championship. Yes, this is not everything that we're going to receive from the team that managed to hire Dan Fallows from Red Bull, the former aerodynamicist and a bunch of engineers, with Alonso saying that the AMR23 will see three quarters of its core changed over the course of the season. But there is one thing that Aston Martin cannot change in 2023 and will try to be less reliant on in the next couple of seasons the dependency on Mercedes parts. The team is a customer company of the Brackley-based squad, buying almost 50% of their car parts and using Mercedes's wind tunnel in Brackley for their own good. The first step towards independence will be taken when the Silverstone-based squad moves into its own wind tunnel, but this is by far the only thing that will make them superior to Mercedes. Although from a commercial point of view, the partnership between Aston Martin and Honda doesn't make any sense, given the close relationship between the sports car manufacturer and Mercedes outside of the sport, Stroll is all about winning. That's what he's been constantly nagging about in the garage, as Crack said, and this is definitely something that he is pushing the team towards. The first win ever since the team was rebranded in 2021. Not to throw dirt on Mercedes or anything, but their engine mounted behind Stroll and Alonso's backs isn't really going to be competitive compared to the Honda of Red Bull. If you think about it, the design of the AMR23 is very similar to the RB18, as Fallows has been the leading brain force behind this massive upgrade that has been happening in the Silverstone-based squad. But this is something that is holding Aston Martin down, something that just doesn't give them that competitive edge over Red Bull and that's the Mercedes parts. According to reports, Aston Martin isn't able to extract more power out of its car due to the fact that the gearbox that they are using for Mercedes isn't fitting for their car. More precisely, Red Bull's biggest strength was the ability to maintain a high level of stability with different ground clearances, as well as aerodynamic efficiency. The AMR23, however, has a rear end that cannot be a copy of the RB18 because it's purchased entirely from Mercedes, including the gearbox and the rear suspension. In terms of transmission, there are very important differences between Red Bull and Mercedes, with the Silver Arrows having a bulkier characteristic in the area closest to the floor, which then goes on to limit the airflow through the AMR23's diffuser. 
While this works well for a car that has literally no side pods, it means that the 2023 Aston Martin's Challenger has a less efficient diffuser, so it needs a bigger rear wing to compensate for this. And what is the outcome of that? More drag, the number one problem that kept Mercedes down in 2022 and is still holding off performance for them in 2023. Now, while these specifications have nothing to do with the engine, it's obvious that if Aston Martin manages to purchase these parts or even build them themselves as they would be more fitting for future versions of the car, it would make no sense for them to stick with the Mercedes engine as well. In 2023, it seems like the W14 isn't as reliable as a W13, and that could be a result of the Brackley-based squad adding more power to it, something that Ted Kravitz has warned us all about. While you do want your car to end the race, you also want it to be fast, something that Honda has been the only engine to do so in the 2022 season, and is consistently doing in the 2023 as well. Unlike them, Mercedes's engine has suffered from two reliability issues in three races, one on Stroll and one on Russell. So that is definitely something that the Green Red Bull would have in mind as the battle of independence continues. Good news for them, Honda is available for 2026. The president of Honda Racing Corporation, Koji Watanabe, spoke about the company wanting to invest a little bit more in the sport after seeing some recent success. As he went on to add, F1 is greatly shifting towards electrification and carbon neutrality is our corporate-wide target at Honda. We think that F1's future direction is in line with our target, so that is why we have decided to register as a manufacturer of a power unit. We're curious about where F1 is going, F1 being the top racing category, and how that's going to look with more electrification happening. We would like to keep a very close eye on that, and that is why we have decided to register as a PU manufacturer. Things aren't sounding great for Mercedes at this point, and while they would want to lose one of its clients due to the increased costs of producing F1 engines, if that team turns out to be Aston Martin, then they have basically built themselves another rival out of nowhere. Nobody would have anticipated the growth that happened in Aston Martin, including me. But that is already past the point of talking right now, as we need to live in the future. The future is now, and it's likely green with Alonso and Stroll having a lot of potential hidden behind their backs. On the other hand, Honda may want to look in some other directions, such as Williams and McLaren, and although the latter would be a bitter re-engagement after everything that happened from 2015 to 2017, and the increased tensions between both sides, it would be a good option for the walking-based squad, after the troublesome season that they are currently undergoing. Williams, while seeming like a team that wouldn't give up on Mercedes for anything in this world as they've managed to get James Vowes from the Brackley-based squad to lead the team into new paths, has spoken about not being locked to Mercedes and is in the process of reviewing engine partnerships from 2026 on. With this in mind, it's evident that the 2026 season will bring a lot of controversies and interesting partnerships between teams and engine manufacturers. And if Honda continues to go down this dominant road with Red Bull, it would be the most wanted asset on the grid. What do you think about a potential partnership between Honda and Aston Martin? Do you think that this is something Lawrence Stroll will reach out to as he is eager to see his team win championships in the near future? Let us know in the comments below. And after you do that, make sure to watch our next video that explains about the massive setback Red Bull is about to experience.